the show. When I take a look at a piece of film, try to make an argument as to why some triggered happy individual would think it'd be a good idea to ban it or at least make some good choice cuts to it. Today, I've got the holiday classic, A Miracle on 34th Street. The original, not the John Hughes one. The real deal. Hmm, let's see. Well, I'll go try a slightly different route. Instead of going the whole ultra-conservative route or the ridiculously politically correct route, I'm just going to go with... It encourages lying to children? about Santa Claus, I guess. If you go, you know, considering the fact that one of the primary characters at the beginning of the film, she's totally against the idea of imagination, which, let's admit, uh, some of the leftists do seem to hate the idea of creativity. And if you get too creative in one way or another, it can be problematic, so I might be looking at this from a bit of a leftist perspective for this one. You know, she starts out not liking the idea of imagination, refuses to acknowledge that Santa could be real, and, you know, just saying, Santa, that guy's fake. Well, he's based on a real person, but he's dead now, and he doesn't break into our house every year to leave things. No, nope, no, nope, that's a lie. I refuse to lie to my children. And then that sort of starts to change. I'm sorry if I'm spoiling this for you, but this, this film's old enough. There seems to be a rule. If, it, if a film's over 50 years, you can spoil it. I don't care for it, but whatever. I gotta make my point across. Film progresses. She warms up. To, you know, the idea of imagination and allows her daughter to be a child more towards the end. Now, yeah, you could say that. Telling your kid about Santa Claus and saying that he's real could be hypocritical, especially if you're a Christian, in which one of the laws is constant things you're talking about told is not to lie. Well, here you're lying to your children. Hypocrisy at its finest. Well, that's the argument I've made for this one. Now, what do I think of this? I like it quite a bit. It may be a bit of a cliche to say that, but I definitely do enjoy it. And I do like the ambiguity as to whether or not Santa is real, but it's done in such a way that you want to. You want to believe that this is the man himself. I mean, deep down inside, say, like, no, he's probably just a guy losing his marbles, but you want to believe. You really want to believe. It helps to really release that inner child of you and bring that aspect of the wonderment of the holiday back. So it's really well done in that way. It's definitely one of the things that helps to make it the classic that it is. Now well, that's about it for this one. If you've seen this on YouTube, <laughs> go into BitChute instead. Watch my stuff there. Support freedom of speech. And if you want to get all of me on that other social media, check me out on Minds. If you, and if you want to see short reviews to, by myself and a bunch of other people, go onto the Stardust app if you're so inclined. And seek me out there. Now, that's about it for this one, and I will see you later. Take care of you.